Jeff Roberts, Magnolia Hoops at the Ninth Annual Lighthouse Classic. We have Moravian Prep out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, just won the semifinal game, advanced to the finals tomorrow in the Lighthouse Classic Challenge. Coach, if you don't care, introduce yourself and your sure. players. Yeah, Coach Ellis, Moravian Prep, Jordan Marsh, uh, six foot point guard, um, Isaac Ellis, 5'11", I think he claims now, uh, freshman combo guard. So. All right, uh, Coach, I want to start with you first here. Uh, you know, it's your first time playing in Mississippi, sure. correct? Yeah. Uh, what was it like for you guys to be able to get the invite, to be able to come in and play this year? Uh, it's been great. I, I, you know, love, love playing national level events. Um, and I've always heard that there was a national event in Mississippi. So uh, just a great opportunity to come back. Um, got a lot of family coming from Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana to see us. And so, uh, so it's been good. Hospitality, second to none. Uh, we play in, you know, probably 15 national events, and, and there's no one uh, that can that can compare to the hospitality here. So even in town, I mean, everywhere. So it's been phenomenal, phenomenal. Great crowd, great atmosphere. So. Uh, go to you, Jordan. Uh, Chicago, you know, they're known for tough players. Uh, them guys were tough out there, defensively very tough. They 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 battle with you, bang with you. What is this student game right here going to do for you going forward, playing opponents like that? Uh, really, it's got to be better. Like I like when opponents play tough and hard. But then if I get used to it, it makes the game way easier, and I create for my teammates and myself. All right, uh, Isaac, come to you. Nineteen points in the first half. You ended with twenty six. Man, what happened? Like, you just disappeared. Where'd you go? <laughs> uh, you know, in the second half, I was just kind of letting the uh, game come to me. You know, we are trying to force a lot of shots. But... Yeah, I just messed with you. I know you kind of kind of sandbagged a little bit there. I saw you kind of laying back and everything. So, you probably could have went for 40, set a lighthouse record. What is the record? 46? Yeah. 40, 47. 47? Maybe something to shoot for? Well, we had, I think we, we broke three point record and we were one point, well, we were one point away from the score record. I believe that's right. Yeah. So. Three point record. I mean, obviously, you guys can shoot it. Uh, was that the game plan? Uh, you know, our numbers, I forgot who spoke to me before. It might have been uh, the grind session folks. They were asking, you know, talking about shot clock. I said, well, we're going to put up 45 threes. That's our goal is to put up 45 and make 20. And we uh, we did. We put up 45 and we made 20. So we shot 44%. Uh, probably our best shooter was over six. And so, you know, thankfully, our probably fourth best shooter was four for seven from three. Probably our third best shooter was five for eight from three. Second best four for eight. And then a couple of guys that don't normally shoot it were two for five and one for one. So they that's our goal. We're not as we're not as big, like on the national level, we're not as big, we're not as fast. We don't have the highly ranked guys. Um, so we have to have a system and a strategy to keep us in those games and uh, and it's a lot more fun that way. Coach, I want to finish off with you here. You kind of touched on, you know, the being in Mississippi. Uh, you know, you want to come here, hospitality. Uh, you do have the Mississippi roots. Right. Uh, and I don't know if you know Coach Spencer with Chicago Prep also played at Ole Miss. Oh, I didn't know that. So he he's he has the Mississippi roots too. Uh, you know, me with Magnolia Hoops, that, that, that's an honor for you guys to be able to come back in the state sure. to bring your prep teams and showcases for yeah. us. Yeah. Uh, kind of what does it mean for you to be able to come back and do that? Um, you know, I, I left the state in 2003 and I, you know, have always wanted to come back. Um, it's just that God never opened that door. Um, and so I've been able to help a lot of different ministries, you know, God's blessed me and been able to help a lot of different ministries. And so one of the, I think the things that our guys are realizing is with some of, with the TV show and some of the, the different things, like there's an open door um, to live out what we, you know, there's, we have a, probably the number one thing we preach to our guys, if you love the game, it'll love you back. And so we, we've been able to use basketball to, we were in a locker room with uh, a team last week and they asked us to share five minutes and, and turned out two of those kids' dad had died in the last two months. And so um, just, just the, the way basketball opens doors just to help people, even if it's just for a moment. Um, so it's been, that's my dream is to always try to give back. Mississippi was was really, really good to me and uh, man, had a huge impact on my life in the years I was here. And so 
I want to be able to give back. There's nothing, I mean, there's nothing like, my, my wife said, there's nothing like the hospitality here. And so, um, so yeah, a lot of memories and, and, and I hope to, you know, keep coming back, create more, and then hopefully we can, uh, we can uh, bait some other teams into to catching us down here in the future. And so uh, we'd, we'd love to help the event any way we can, so. I got one more for you here. Uh, yeah. You just kind of touch on the, the talent from Mississippi. You know, last year, year before last winter, it was yeah. had a Mississippi kid, had yeah. a couple others trying yeah. out, working out. Yeah, unbelievably talented. We had a kid that his only offer was Coma. Came to us. You know, he was like he just needed a little tweaks here and there. And I think within it was COVID year, so it was, it was not an easy year to get kids recruited. I think within about three months, he had was it twenty D one offers. So he went from one to offer to about twenty D one offers. You know, ended up in the SEC, and so. You know, for Mississippi, events like this give these kids a platform to be seen. Cause there's kids everywhere. They're just a little bit, a little bit hidden. And so, um, you know, that's kind of what we do as a prep school is just give, put those guys on that national stage. But events like this, you know, bring the national stage to Mississippi for those kids don't have to leave and go, you know, you know, go to these nat quote unquote national programs. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, it's just unbelievable opportunity. So. All right, thanks guys. Yes, sir.